just trying to uh, tie a quick coho fly. These these fly. This is the end result here. These are, these are very simple flies to tie, and they're very effective for coho. Okay. The main ingredient for these is flashaboo, right here. Okay. Green, blue, silver, gold. And the trick is is extra limp because you want the action from the fly. You see how when, you, when I hold it, how it hangs down? That's the action you want. Now these flies will be laughed at by tires that are real fancy. They're just quick, onto the hook, a bit of weight, and then you get the, the action for the, for the fly. So what I'm going to do, and these hooks, what we're using, are right here, must add, size 2, streamer hooks. Very simple. Very simple hook, easy to keep sharp. And most of these flies, by the end of the day, are all beat up. And there's new, there's a lot of different types of heads you can use for different weights. We have the, here's a whole bunch of barbell heads, and then just the round lead heads, different colors, different weights. And we can, numerous, you can tie them really heavy or really light. That's or, but generally, just keep it simple. Keep it with the flash of it. So I got one just started, and quite a, I use a bit of lead wire on them. And I wrap the, the wire around the hook. And you can use a lot or a little, but generally speaking, I just use a little. This, this fly here is going to be one with a barbell hook. So I just go around, secure the lead, and then just wrap it around the hook. Okay, and I am not a good fly tire. The flies I tie are simply, I tie them because they're effective. And I usually spend after a day, I usually go between myself fishing on a day, I'm gonna go probably use half a dozen flies. But I don't switch back too many colors. I keep it simple. Metallic green, metallic blue, and silver. And see what I've just done there is I've secured the lead wire on the hook. The size of wire can be anywhere from 020 to 035. Works fine. Now here we go. We just get a pinch of green and you can use a lot or a little. I generally prefer just about that much is all you need and you want it long enough. What coho are feeding on before they come into the river are needlefish. That is their main diet out on the west coast of the island. And needlefish vary from this long to that long. So these are, are not too big. So just a pinch onto the Onto the fly here, get it caught. Let's go down the body, back up, and then grab a bar. This is going to be a barbell head. Can't see it. Set it on there, cross this way. Cross. And simply just for weight. You need to get the fly down to the fish quickly. We just do a crisscross pattern on these. Round and round. And then back it up behind it. Like so. And a lot of times guys will come up and they'll have They'll way overdress these flies, putting in hackles and, and marabou and all that. This is all you need right here. Just simple, a few half inches where you can whip finish it. And then I always head cement these after. And then you can trim it shorter or longer, but that's all it is right there. Very simple. Let me zoom in.
and that's on a number size 2 hook. You can make some smaller ones on a size 4 if you like, but you don't have to add a lot. Very simple. This is a green one. Works good in low water and high water. And here's another, again, a shot of the assortment of different barbell heads. And here's a box of the end product. See different different types of heads. This silver one worked. You know, this one's been fished. And you can, you can add different weights onto the hooks of, of the uh, lead wire. But the Flashaboo Extra Limp, right there. That's a good one. The Gold, the 6902. That's one of my favorites. That's a go-to color right there. And I stick with the Extra Limp material. When you get into the stiffer materials, such as this one, it looks great, great color and all that, but you see when you hold it, it's straight back. It doesn't get the action of the extra limp, and that that is the key. Lots of flash and action. When that's going through the water, it's going like this. When you're stripping, strip, strip, that triggers the bite in the coho. Okay, I hope that helped.